All right, Tommy Cowett, the real alien Tom from Outer Space Landscape, back with you for another episode. Today, we're going to be planting some bedding plants in this raised bed. And we're going with begonia. I'm going to talk in detail about that. We're using 4-inch material here. It should make a nice finished look. We're kind of going close together with this, but uh, talk a little bit about the bed itself. It is a raised bed, and we have uh, some drip irrigation lines in here. This is actually soaker hose that's serpentine through the uh, hostas, as well as down here. And we were having some wash issues, so we picked up some of this material here. This is uh, like a plastic. I cut it, actually, with a uh, pair of snips, and it cut pretty nice on that, and installed it just along the edge. As you can see, it's nice and well put it's not going anywhere um, so we'll just continue to lay out these begonias in this bed we do have a uh, irrigation and in a minute I'll show you when I get to planting them I'm just kinda staggering these guys right now and I'll probably move them a little higher up on the bed because I have another color that the client thought she'd like to see these little guys down along the edge. So that's what we're doing. And when I get to start planting, uh, to hear some other materials that the uh, the client picked up. This is just to show you some of these. I love working with these Bougainvillea. They're really great, super for attracting um, hummingbirds. And every year I buy one of them big guys for my mom to put on her deck. And uh, Lori picked up one of these big. Gosh, that's about five feet tall, um, 50 bucks, and she needs to get that into some sun. Here's another bed we're going to be clearing out and uh, planting these begonias, a little different color, different color scheme, but this bed here gets planted. The pansies have just done terribly, and we think we know why. Um, the pansies um, were just overwatered. Uh, it's the first year we tried drip. And this is also set up on drip irrigation, or actually we do uh, soaker hoses. And I'm, I had two uh, soaker hoses going down and coming back last year, and this thing just got soaked. So we got a root rot, and our pansies didn't do too well as we went through the season. Uh, let me show you the timer that, that drip is on. It's uh, one of these, made by the Orbit Company, and uh, this one does... Up to, this one does two um, separate zones, has two valves there, this valve and this valve. There's a timer, and we could set it for any time, about three times a day, uh, as long as we want, uh, up to seven days a week if we want. But we've really got it set up, as you can see, simple. This plastic material, rigid, goes together real easy. Some of you have seen this, the way we've kind of run that through. But let me get uh, going on these beds and we'll get back to you. All right. Tommy Couch signing okay. out. So we're back. And this is the finished product. The finished planting job. I've mulched it over a little bit. And that's what I want to talk to you about next about this project. As we move on to the next area. Um, this is a product I swear by. It's called Nature's Helper. It's an organic soil conditioner. And it's just wonderful. It's 100% organic. Let's get into the bag here and show you what it looks like. This is just rich ground up pine bark, humus, other things. And it really keeps the soil open. I like to add it anytime I'm planting a shrub, anytime I'm planting a tree in turf areas where I'm repairing uh, bare spots. I'll mix it with some seed and spread it out, try to use a, like a, a potato rake and work it in and in this case I'm just gonna spread it out and then work it work it work it bust up all this and get our plant beds ready for the begonias okay okay so here we are back we got the osmocote we got our little trowel we're continuing on with the theme as you can see these begonias are a little bit lighter I've got just uh, applied my organic soil conditioner and we're just moving around as you can see it looks like a pile of plants I've already taken them out of their um, 
containers and they're laid out kind of where they're going to go. And I'm just dibbling them down in with my trowel. So we'll continue on and we'll see when we're finished. Okay, so the real alien Tom, the real alien Tom back with you to show you the finished work. This bed is in. It's all watered. Always water your beds in after you've installed them. Try to clean up. But that's pretty much it. Begonias switching out the annuals. And I'll just give you a panoramic view of Lori's beautiful place here. Dragon. This is a fun property to work on. I love it. Signing off.